Good morning, y'all. Or good, well, it's 11.48. I was sitting there having me some brunch, some chicken and waffles and some mimosas. Or that's what you want to call it. Um, And I happen to be scrolling on my Twitter timeline. And y'all know most of the stuff I can scroll past. I'll be like, okay, these ignorant bitches, whatever. That's who she is or whatever. But... One of the city girls, I guess she was on a one of the, the she had a Breakfast Club interview recently. I guess promoting their new music or whatever. Um, I think her name is Cresha. I want to say that's what her name is. And um, you know, they asked her about the tweets that had resurfaced or whatever. And I was willing to let the moment pass. I was like, okay, she said some shit. Back in the day, a while ago, okay, she's grew past that or whatever. Basically, what she said was, I said what I said. And she was like, yeah, you know, I did say that I wouldn't want my son to be gay. And, okay, I was willing to let her say that, okay, you don't want your child to be gay. I would think that you would, it wouldn't matter or you would um, prefer to have a healthy son over a gay son and it wouldn't matter. But here's what upset me when she said, yeah, I don't, I don't hate gays because I be around gays. I just wouldn't want my son dating the same sex. And here's the thing, and I've said this time and time again, black mamas and black parents kill the fuck out of me with this I don't want my ch I don't want my child to be gay my nephew gay or whatever and it blows my mind you rather disown the gay child but you'll go to court and pay lawyers to defend your son that's done raped or killed and sold drugs that is mind blowing to me but your gay son is over here trying to go to school and be a lawyer and working and being somebody and don't harm nobody. You disown that motherfucker. You kick that motherfucker out your damn house. But that's so wrong. Yeah. Um, I don't really listen to the city girls, but I was going to let the moment slide. That she, when she was talking about the tweets came out, okay, they dug up some old tweets. It was probably years ago. She was young and dumb. But this bitch came back on the Breakfast Club and was basically like, yeah, that's what I meant. And I don't even have an issue with her saying that or that's how she feels. But the gays listen to these girls who don't support you. Y'all, I scroll down Twitter. I scroll down Instagram. I scroll down my Facebook. I'm seeing the gays. I fuck with the city girls. I love the city girls. This a smash hit. But y'all listening to people who don't support y'all lifestyle. That shit about, oh yeah, I hang out with the gays. I guess so, because they paint your face and they do your fucking makeup, bitch. That's all we good for for you, huh? You know... That's the same thing as a white person getting some going somewhere and saying, yeah, I'm not tweeting something racist and then saying, yeah, I'm not racist. I have a black friend. So that doesn't make me racist. That's bullshit. That's exactly what that is. You might work with a black. You might have a black friend all for the sake of making you feel better about yourself. But that does not make you not racist. Just in the fact that her saying that does not make her non homophobic. You know, I would prefer if she would have been like, you know, yeah, I'm sorry I said that, you know, I would love my son regardless. So what ha what happens if your son grows up and he is gay? Then what? What you going to disown him? And I don't know. How old is this bitch? Let me see. Cresha. Let me see. Prisha and the city girls. Oh, Carisha. 
Okay, Carisha. Okay. Um, okay. She's 24. And bitch, you come from Miami, Florida. And you 24, you don't went to school with a bunch of gays. You know, but you, if you still live in Miami, you turn your corner. It's a bunch of gays around you. I just don't understand where this logic comes from, where people get mad with, or they disown people because of what somebody wants to do in the privacy of their own bedroom. It would seem to me that, okay, I raised my son to be a good person. I know he's going to go out in the world and make a difference. If he wants to sleep with boys, girls, be a transgender. Why does that bother you so much, Carisha? And I don't listen to that ghetto-ass, hood-red-ass music they got. I don't like them either. And I, it's, they fall in line right along with Cardi B. That hood, ratchet-ass shit. I don't fuck with them hoes. Um, and I know one of them is in... Uh, ain't, one of, ain't the other girl in prison for, like, fraud or some bullshit like that? So, yeah. Consider the fucking source. But I just wanted to come in here and lay that down. And, uh... My women out there with kids, I'm not saying that you should want your kids to grow up gay. That's not what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. I understand you wouldn't want your children to be gay. Okay, I wouldn't want that. To grow up and have your kids go to school and be bullied and call faggots and stuff. What I am saying is don't disown your kids because of that. And then go stand by the kids who commits crime. Bad is bad if that's what you're going to say. That bitch. I was in there minding my damn business watching um the chilling adventures of Sabrina. And that shit came on my timeline and I was like, I got to come in here and talk about this shit. Because. These gays, they go out here and they support the very people who down talk them. Who don't support their lifestyle. And then got the nerve to holler about LGBT rights. I don't get that. I don't understand. And then, I bet you if I was to say it to somebody, they'd be like, oh, well, yeah, she feel that way, but I still like that music. Yeah. Like, I can't. Y'all gonna make somebody rich that don't support y'all lifestyle. And if you was walking down the street and it was a fight and her homeboy was fighting you, she would tell that nigga to blow your fucking head off. And I'm cussing too much, so I'm about to get out of here. Y'all have a good Tuesday. Bye.